still in my pajamas, as you can see. Today is a chill day. Today, I want to share with you all the things that I do when I'm really stressed out and I want to de-stress and be one with the world and be happy and all that kind of stuff. Here we go! The first thing I do when I don't have a lot of time but I really need to de-stress is I listen to music. I go to my phone and I go to Spotify, I go to playlists and well, depending on my mood, I have a bunch of options that I regularly listen to. <laughs> There's one playlist that I love, it's called Deep Focus. Check it out guys, it's amazing. You just, oh, you just like, oh, in the zone, <laughs> if that makes sense. Um, then if I really want to, you know, just, you know, I feel down and I want to, you know, get my emotions up and my energy, I either listen to K-pop or I listen to a playlist that I made, um, it's called Awesomeness Now. <laughs> and I basically just have like, a bunch of Imagine Dragons and One Republic and Avicii. I also listen a lot to uh, film music like The Lord of the Rings or Harry Potter or Pirates of the Caribbean and stuff like that. And there's another group I want to share with you that I recently rediscovered. I've actually been to a concert of theirs in the past, but they're called Celtic Women um, and they're amazing. If you don't know them, check them out right now. They're these, like, these women that sing in amazingly high voices and it's the most beautiful thing. It's gorgeous. Oh my god, I love them. Music guys, listen to some music and you'll feel better. Welcome to our unfinished bedroom, which explains all the white walls behind me. But this thing is the dream catcher that I made myself. I'm gonna make a video on how I made that because I'm actually really proud of it. But yes, number two on my list to relax is reading. I have to admit I am not reading enough. I should be reading more. For some reason I always end up gaming instead of reading, but I am trying. I, I will read more, yes. Okay, my promise to you. <laughs> But what I am reading right now is um, this one. It's called Deutsche Helden Sagen, um, which basically means uh, German hero tales or hero saga. And yeah, it's basically a collection of all kinds of German hero tales and you know, the, the Nibelung saga and all that kind of stuff. It's really cool. I love it. Next one on my list is the Norse myths. Um, I'm really excited about this one. I love like folklore and myths and saga and fairy tales. It's just, it's so cool that you have like the fantasy element with mi uh, mixed with history and you know, magic and oh, it's so cool. You, you learn a lot about cultures. I, I love that kind of stuff. This is my Kindle. Let's see what the last thing was that I read on here. Oh, it's um, Mary Lou's The Young Elite, which was it was okay. I was a little, yeah. I'm. I'm not gonna say anything, but it, it was. It was okay. And the one before that, okay, all these are fantasy books, of course. <laughs> the one before that was uh, the Broken Kingdoms by N. K. Jemisin. That one was really cool. Um, that one was quite, you know, very intelligently written. Not just, you know, oh, the hero, and then they fall in love, and then some magic creature, and you know, the end. But this one was actually quite intelligent. So I like that a lot. I can only recommend The Broken Kingdoms. Reading is awesome. I always, yeah, I'm not reading enough. It's just, ah, time and less gaming. The thing that probably helps me the most to relax is meditation. And probably about a year ago, I was very suspicious of this and I, I didn't really know anything about, you know, what it really is until um, my roommate in New York, Dahlia, she basically taught me how to meditate and I tried it out and I immediately fell in love with it. There's nothing that you know, relaxes you more than meditation. And what I usually do is you know, I light up some candles and I burn some incense just to get my mind into the right mindset. I sit down, I have my palms facing up to the universe <laughs> and I close my eyes and start to concentrate on my breathing and I try to think of nothing. And that is harder than it sounds. Try to think of nothing. It's really difficult, but if you get to that one point in time where you really think of nothing, where you just, you are aware of your existence and you are in peace and 
It's amazing. Try it out, guys. Really, it's it's very rewarding. The next thing on my list is sport. And I would say that I am a very sporty person, sportive person, whatever the adjective is. Um, I've been, you know, in competitive teams. I've run cross country and track. I've been on, on you know, national championships for, with the cheerleading team, that kind of stuff. And if I don't do sport, I really feel emotionally drowned. If that makes sense. Like I need these, you know, these happy hormones that get set free when you do a lot of sport. So if I don't do sport. I get very grumpy, <laughs> so I can't, I can't go a week without doing sport. If I have a lot of time, I usually go to the gym and just do, you know, I run a little bit or I do some cardio. If I only have half an hour to spare or so, I usually get my yoga mat and I do some yoga. It seems to be minimal, but it helps, it really helps and uh, it relaxes me. You should try it. If you've never done yoga, it is great. And some days you just need to take a nice hot bath and light some candles, maybe listen to some nice music and just relax and take it all in, be in the moment and you know, everything will be all right again. <laughs> and yeah, this is the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, I hope this gave you some ideas for things you can do when you feel stressed out. Don't feel stressed out, take it easy with some things I mentioned and also Guys, please let me know some of the things that you do when you feel stressed out because, you know, you probably can give me some good tips. And, oh my god, this feels so awkward talking to you in the bathtub. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a like if you liked it and subscribe if you haven't done so yet. And what else? Oh, last two videos. Actually, my last video was very dear to my heart. Um, please check it out. I talked about the dangers in cosmetics. And it's so important, guys. Please watch it. Be healthy. <laughs> And the one before that I did a really, really fun DIY project where I made like a candle holder kind of thing. Um, it's so much fun, check it out. And yeah, thanks so much for watching guys. Uh, I love you and I will see you soon. Bye! Oh. <laughs>